Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited to be pointing out another plan with me for the current week, which is September 25th to October 1st, which I can't even believe we're seriously in the last week of September. It's nuts. I am using this kit here. I believe it's called Messy Bun and it's from Beautiful Planning and I love it so much. I think it's really cute. And then I do have this page here. Um, this is for like a rewind for two weeks. I think this was like the week of September 11th is this right here, but um, I haven't filmed that yet, obviously, since the stickers are still here. But anyways, everything else I need for this week is, like, on this page as well. As you guys already know, I crop and choose what I want out of printables, and I put it um, kind of into a mixture. That's why some stickers are missing here as well. And then I think it's a great way because it saves me money as far as sticker paper goes and ink goes because, you know, ink for printers is expensive. While I'm talking, I'm just going to start with my bottom washi like usual. But, um, yes, so if you want to know how I do that, then definitely check out that video. The link is always in the description box of every single planner video. So if you're curious on how I do that, check it out. Um, that's already going down crooked. <gasps> no freaking way. I've never had... Oh God, my sticker paper rip up the whole entire sheet. <gasps> Holy Toledo, I've never had this happen. Well, this is a fail already. Oh my gosh. I'm, wow, do you guys see that? Like how much that ripped? Can you guys see that? Oh my Lanta, that's bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip off the rest. So there's that chunk of paper, Bye bye Holy cow. All right, let's try this again. Um, I've never seriously had that happen. So um, it's currently Monday the 25th as I'm filming this. I'm hoping, I didn't get a chance to get it filmed Sunday. Um, what do I even do yesterday? I feel like, oh, we had a ramen cooking class and then we were, my husband's making these shelves for our bedroom and um, I was helping him stain the wood and stuff like that so after we went to a cooking class yesterday it was yesterday morning but we didn't get home till like around one ish i think after the class was done it was fun but it was like i don't know it was fun but it was also kind of a fail honestly the cooking class it was at sur la tab sur la tab is apparently the correct way how you say it even though when you look at it it looks like sur la table but i don't know it was it was fun but it wasn't fun um it was fun because you know it was supposed to be like a date for us you know to like do things but it turned it out not being that way i think i'm gonna put the girl mm, no i want to put the boss babe here saturday sunday i'm trying to figure out my full box situation um i didn't vlog it so obviously i'll just talk about it but this goes here um so we yeah it's at sur la tab but people usually say Sir La Table. That's what I used to say until I went to the class and they're like, no, it's Sir La Table. I'm like, oh, okay. So anyways, we've taken cooking classes there before. Well, technically we took a knife skills class and then we took a cooking class on how to make gnocchi. It's my favorite pasta ever, gnocchi. Um, so anyways, we did that. Um, God, like three, four years ago, actually when we first started dating, we did those two classes. It was like, I think October, November we did those or maybe November, December. Anyways. So we did those classes. Oh, my daughter's crying. Hold on. Okay, crisis averted. Um, my daughter has one of those cute mermaid tails and it was stuck on her and she couldn't get it off. So she was like having a meltdown, but we're good now. Um, so I gotta figure out how I wanna do this. I wanna put the messy bun and getting stuff done as the quote. Sorry guys, I have to think. I think I'm gonna put like a deco box here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. What color deco box? Mm, I'm feeling this one a lot. I'm actually feeling all of the colors in this kit. This kit is just like everything. I don't even know if I'm going back to work this week. Okay, I'm getting so distracted. I feel like sometimes every single time I want to talk, I have like so many things I want to tell you guys and then I just get sidetracked. So let's go back to the ramen cooking class. So we went there because we wanted to you know spend some time together you know all that fun stuff um kind of have actually it, not kind of it be a date for us because we haven't gone on a date since just the two of us since we went to go see the fate and the furious which oh my god that was so long ago so 
we wanted to do that and um i'm trying to think where do i want this i guess this will go at the top um my full wax are are confusing me right now i'm sorry guys um so anyways we went there and we got split up into two different groups so right there that was a bummer because it's like okay well there goes our spending quality time together because we already got split up um because it's like it was four groups of four so there was like two team actually the two teams that we were in each had three people so the team that he was on it's not a team but group he was on had three people and the group that i was on had three people so right there it was just you know how we got split up so anyways that happened where do i want to put this in the middle bottom top what did i do today i haven't done anything today i've, I've seriously no i have actually i don't even know what time. it's like one o'clock oh it's actually a little bit after one and I've been like cleaning like a crazy person. What time is it? Cause I'm curious. 1.46. Um, I have to pick up my husband in two hours from the airport. So let me do the glitter headers. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm all over the place. So anyways, yes, um, we got split up. So that stinks and we are split up the whole class. So we only times we got to talk was the very, well, not even the very beginning. We couldn't even talk. Cause you know, you gotta follow and pay attention, but um, was the very end when we got to eat our ramen. So, I mean, it was fun. You know, I socialized with other people and so, and he socialized with his group too. So it was totally fine as far as that goes. It just stinks because it's supposed to be an experience for us to actually get alone time together because we don't get any alone time together at all whatsoever. And I'm very attached to my daughter as far as, and I'm sure everyone's attached to their child, but I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm weird or maybe I'm too attached. I don't know what it is. But, and I just, I get anxiety over leaving her. And every time I leave her, I want to like hysterically cry. So I feel like that's not normal. Um, but I can't help it. I, I don't understand why I feel this way. Um, but yeah, every time it's hard for me, like my husband, he wants to go on dates and stuff. And, and it's usually me saying no, because I'm, I don't want to leave my daughter. And then I also feel bad asking like people to babysit her too. Um, but I mean, she's a great kid. Everyone always says she's so easy and she's so good, but I just, oh, I don't know what it is. I just get this anxiety over leaving her. And then I also feel like she doesn't understand that we're going to come back, you know, like mommy and daddy are coming back. We're just going to be gone for a few hours. Um, she is two and a half, but I don't know. I just feel like she's going to freak out. Um, and she always does fine, but it's just more me, something that I need to get over. But Anyway, so yeah, so we did the ramen class. We didn't get to spend any time together except for the very end when it was time to eat our finished ramen. But I mean, it was still fun. But, um, and then of course at the very end when we go to eat ramen, every single person, you guys, was, we made the noodles from scratch. And everyone's like, oh my God, what does that taste? The taste is awful. Like every single person. We had four groups of four. So like, that's a lot of people. I can't do math right now. But, um... So yeah, like every, it's 16, every single pe person was just like, this is gross. Like, what does that taste? And some, and everyone's like, who's going to have the balls to tell the teacher, like, what's wrong with the ramen? Like, is it just us that like have weird taste buds? But come on, 16 of us with off taste buds. I don't think so. So, so one of the guys finally had like the balls to be like, some things taste funny. And we all agreed it was the noodles. It was like a huge consensus. And actually it was Edom, who's my husband, if you're not aware, was the one that said, I think it's too much. Why did I pull up all of these colors? Oh, I don't even need all three of these ones. I just realized I only need two because I did the double big box. I always forget that when I do this myself. Um, anyways, um, he was the one from the get go that was like, I think we used too much baking soda when we made the noodles. So anyways, the teacher was like, the noodles don't taste right and they're all like we're all like yes the noodles are disgusting like it we're pretty sure it's the noodles so she tried the noodles from someone's bowl which i was kind of like ew they were eating out of that but anyways i don't know germs um and she was like oh my god yes the noodles are it, it's too much baking soda so she looks at the recipe and on the recipe it says to use a fourth cup yeah a fourth cup of baking soda and we're like, no way, like a fourth cup. That seems like a lot of damn. And I thought it was 
a lot of baking soda at first when we put it into the KitchenAid mixer to like mix everything. I was like, that looks like a lot of baking soda, but I'm not a cook. If any of you know me or watch our daily vlogs, y'all know I am not no cook. So I was like, eh, what do I know? But, oh yeah. So then she called like the head resident chef who's like in charge of all of the cooking classes to come and like taste it and see what his thought was too. And he was like, oh my God, it's way too much baking soda. So then the class was over. A bunch of people left. A lot of people left actually mad. And she, um he said he was like okay well if anyone wants to stick around i'm gonna see if i can figure out what the problem is because a part of cooking is you know cooking is all trial and error so we stayed around the class was only supposed to be two to two and a half hours but we actually stayed around so that's another reason why we were there a little bit longer and he, yeah he said it should have only been two teaspoons was the correct recipe so two teaspoons and a fourth cup is totally different and oh my god we had the nasty like baking soda taste in our mouth literally all day it was so gross um yeah it was not good at all i'm gonna put in my little flags where are my flags oh they're on the other sheet yeah here they are um so yeah it was so i mean it was fun, but at the same time, it sucked because we, you know, and those cooking classes, by the way, are not cheap. You know, we went to spend quality time together, which we didn't get to do. And then, you know, at the very end, we were starving. You know, you want to eat your, the food that you basically spent two and a half hours cooking. And it was disgusting. So, it is what it is. But, I mean, overall... It was good and i get it too you know it is a trial and error as far as cooking it's not always going to come out perfect so i totally get it not mad about it it just you guys understand what i'm saying right just a little bit of a bummer um but anyways so well hey that was a good story to tell because look i literally went and yeah oh i know what i did wrong i was supposed to follow the top part i thought that's what i was gonna do I was supposed to follow the bow headers so they all went together that was my goal anyways and i fudged that up do i want to take them off and fix them you better do it now girl all right let's just do it forget it i'm going to because that was my plan this whole time so <laughs> see what happens when you talk <laughs> sometimes talking and planning you mess up but it's all good um, so anyways, but yeah, that was yesterday and then yeah, we are working on the shelving. I'm really excited for the shelf the shelves to be done Because one of the shelves that my husband's making is actually for our urn For our baby our little angel So I can't wait to have that shelf done so we can put our angel on it I'm gonna make a whole little area You know dedicated to our our baby so I'm like really happy that it's finally almost done and it's cute too because my husband's making it and it's you know something we did together so hey at least we got to spend some time together yesterday well we still got to spend time together but making the shelf together was nice so anyways um yeah that was Sunday but I really wanted to film this video yesterday that way I'm not filming it on a Monday but the day just kind of got ahead of me so I wasn't able to get it done unfortunately um why can't i get this off let's try the bottom here but i'm getting it done now so i guess that's good <laughs> and then i will get this uh hopefully edited i mean we don't have any plans today so i should be able to get this edited and then uploaded wait what am i doing yeah, I am taking that off. Sorry, I got this. Oh my God, Brittany, come on, get it together. But yeah, I'm hopefully we'll get this up tonight. So it still is technically a Monday plan with me. But I should be able to because all I have to do is I have to pick up my husband in three hours. So I can't get this off and it's really irritating me. So I have to pick him up in three hours or no, two hours from the airport. So that'll be fine. And literally that's the only thing I have to do. I got all my cleaning done today. I gave Wiggles a bath today. I cleaned um, the bathroom, both bathrooms, because they both, especially after watching the dog in the tub, she was filthy. It was disgusting. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm cleaning this bathtub because everyone uses it, so I don't want to 
leave it a mess, especially with all her hair. And I'm happy to report she finally had no fleas. So, yay! Because if you guys have watched my other ponies, I've been complaining about the constant fleas. Like, I haven't been able to get rid of them. And some of you guys did give me tips, and I appreciate it. But we don't have carpet, so unfortunately, I couldn't use some of them. But, anyways... I finally gave her a bath and she had no fleas. So that right there is a victory. But yeah, I got that done. And then I washed that bathroom or cleaned that bathroom, I should say. Then we have a half bath attached to our bedroom. Okay, that looks better. So then I cleaned that bathroom and then I cleaned. Well, our room is already clean, but I swept, vacuumed, and then mopped our room. Also our half bath. And then the room I'm in right now, which is the office slash our daughter's room I, I have like all these papers all over here I came in here and I like cleaned it thoroughly um you know I swept vacuum mopped I also dusted the desk that I'm working on right now so I like completely dusted that and cleaned everything and and yeah so I feel very accomplished although my fingers are killing me because I also took off my gel nail polish yesterday, so my fingers are just super tender and hurting. And I also think from the constant scrubbing this morning from cleaning, it it hurts too. Where's my weekend banner? Okay. Sometimes I get confused going back and forth between all these sheets <laughs> where everything is. But, okay, I'm still recording. That's always good. But anyways, so today was a productive day as far as cleaning goes, so that was nice. And last week was a really good week, so I'm kind of glad last week was a really fun, productive week. Um, because this week, I don't know how fun and productive it's going to be because I might be going back to work. My FMLA, like ma maternity leave, ends tomorrow, which is Tuesday the 26th, so depending on, I guess, when you're watching this. Which really sucks. Um, so I might... Um, I don't know. I might go back to work Thursday. I might not. It just kind of depends. I'll find out on Wednesday. I have my doctor's appointment. If um, they're extending me to stay off or if I'm going back. So I don't know. My schedule anyways, I guess it kind of works out is that I am off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I work 10 hour shifts, four days. So even if my um, if my maternity leave does end on Tuesday, I still have Wednesday off, so that is nice. So I don't know, just kind of. I guess I'll find out on my appointment Wednesday if I do actually go to work Thursday. I wish I could find out before, but I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like calling my doctor just to ask. Okay, I need to actually see how I did this because this I'm I. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I did the two. Okay. I'm with it, guys. Somewhat, anyways. I just started doing the whole um, habit trackers again. So, I was, the last plan with me was kind of like a, a test run to see how it was going to go. And I was, it was a little too short, so I had to reprint and cut extra, like, wash, quote-unquote washi strips. So I wanted to see how I did it so I don't mess up again. And I think I printed everything correctly that I'll need to complete the sidebar. So hopefully I did. And then I did, what did I do? Another washi? Yeah. So it's like washi in between every single thing. And so my habit trackers is for no eating out because we've been eating out way too much ever since we moved back to California. Honestly, it's kind of giving me anxiety because I'm like, holy crap, why? Are we spending so much money eating out? Like, where the hell is all our money going to? And it's like, oh, to restaurants and fast food. Although we don't do fast food, so it's restaurants, which, of course, is more money. Um, so, anyways, so I'm putting down a to-do header now. And then the other one is for, we got my daughter, ABC Mouse. And I want to make sure she's doing it every day. She didn't do it every day last week, but she did pretty good. She didn't do it. Oh, actually, no. She only did three days. That's kind of a fail. Oh, well. Um, so, anyways. Whatever. Um, oh, I need another... Another washi strip. 
But yeah, so I want to start doing my habit trackers again. And then this is going to be a to-do list and a next week. And there's so much stuff going on. So my husband, like I said, I have to pick him up. I'm not keeping track of his work schedule because if you guys watched that plan with me last week, I said something was changing with him on that Friday. But I was like, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. Yeah, he left his job and he had to fly to Phoenix for the new job. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Exciting and scary, I guess, all at the same time. Well, why did this work out perfectly? That's odd. This is gonna work out, oh, because I didn't cut this in three for next week, whatever. Don't ask me what I'm doing, guys. I don't even know anymore. And I'm actually gonna have to cut, I'm gonna have to cut that off. And I'm just gonna have this extra washi strip. Okay, well, let me cut this off and then I'll zoom in and we can just go day by day then. Okay, so I have you zoomed in. I cut off the bottom. I love this quote. I think it's just so cute because um, this is so me, especially this week because today I got a bunch done. So for Monday the 25th, the only thing I have is that my hubby had to go to Phoenix for his new job. So I'm going to put in a half box for that. Where is that sheet? Oh, it's on this page. Ugh, I actually have them on three different sheets. Look at that. <laughs> um, so that's on my October monthly. So I'm gonna go ahead. What color is the airplane that I did, the icon? It's blue. Perfect, so that'll be good. So um, it was a cleaning day for me, but I didn't make a cleaning day sticker, so I will just make that another time. Like when I probably work on next week's which I need to actually I already have next week's kit picked well do I I think I do um I think I'm gonna make it's gonna be Halloween the next five kits are gonna be Halloween kits um so I'm really excited for that I love Halloween so I have it picked out from beautiful planning it's in my cart I just need to go and actually purchase it so I have that for him being in Phoenix all day and literally that is it um, so whenever I do the the kit for next week I'll make a cleaning day sticker and I'll print it and I will just add it in I do have a plan um, an Instagram wait when is my daughter's bath now Tuesday so anyways Tuesday um, I do have a planner Instagram that I am um, like that I have, but I'm so bad with posting my, I need to get better at it, with posting my, um, what do you Mitch call it? What do you Mitch call it? I can't even think. My spreads, like my midweeks and all of that. I keep saying how I want to post those and I keep forgetting. So I'm sorry, you guys. Um, if you are following my planner Instagram and then you're like, where's the midweeks and the final spread? I need to do it. I know. But also the problem with like me posting them is because since I do print and cut everything, that way I don't like buy kits with everything like ready to go. And since I don't print and cut everything, because I don't want to be wasteful is the reason why I don't print and cut everything because I've done that a couple of times where I'm like, well, maybe I'll need a half box. Maybe I'll need this. And then I don't ever use it. And since it matches the kit, it just looks, oh my God, you couldn't even see what I was doing. It just looks weird. Oh, I do want to put in a, um, a YouTube video since this video should be, well, what if it doesn't go up Monday? And what if I put this up video up on Tuesday? I'll wait on the YouTube video. Anyways, um, so, oh, Tuesday also, my FMLA is supposed to end. So I have a little thing for that. And I'm just going to put that, I guess, at the top. And I'm just going to put that it ends. And then I have some space in the middle here. Um... But I don't even know what the hell I was saying now. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, sometimes that's why it gets a little bit hard for me to, like, keep up with it. Because I need to make sure I have, like, a full sheet of stickers ready to go to print and cut. Like, to print before I can... I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. But I feel like if you do what I do, like, as far as you purchase printables and you print and cut, then maybe you know. You can relate to what I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe. Um, oh, this day I did give Wiggles a bath. I actually made this pug sticker for last week's spread. So the blue is a little bit off, but it's not that bad and it doesn't bother me that much. So I'm just going to put her. Mm, yeah, I'm going to put. I'm going to plop her right here. 
for bath i'll put the cleaning day or probably the video upload right there and i doubt we're gonna do anything tonight so anyways yeah because i gave you the bath i like to track her baths um especially with her little flea breakout i just ugh, just i want to track it so that's all i have for tuesday fmla ends and bath wednesday then um i have a doctor's appointment um so I have that second half box for that. So let me get it off this other sheet here. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Um, and it's actually in the morning. So, and that's the only thing I have planned. There was deco with this kit, which is good. Because honestly, there's not a whole lot going on this week. I feel like I've already said that, but just in case. But I do try to make plans. I try to make things work so my week kind of gets full. Um, sometimes it works out like last week. It worked out really well. Um, but sometimes it doesn't. So anyways, so I'll put that down and my doctor's appointment. Stick that in. I don't know. Do I want to put this on the bottom? Yeah, let's put it on the bottom. We'll mix it up a little bit with the icons and that's it. So Thursday, like I said, I might go back to work this day. I'm not marking it because I don't know. Um, Friday, I might have work, but I'm not marking it because I don't know. But I do have a payday. So let me get my flag. Where's my flag? Here it is. And then my payday icon. And that's just going to go... Where do I want to put this, actually? I don't want to put it at the very top. Because if I work, that's where I want to put that. I'm going to just put that right here. I'm just put it right here at the top because we don't have any other plans so because yeah I don't know what else is going to happen I feel like Tuesday or Wednesday we'll probably try to do something fun-ish maybe go to the zoo because we do have zoo season passes um and then I don't have anything, you guys, going on Saturday, Sunday. Oh, you know what I can do? I can put in bath stickers. I can do that. So Tuesday, Wednesday. So Thursday would be a bath for my daughter. And yes, I like to keep track of her baths. I don't know why. I'm going to probably eventually stop doing that. But for now, <laughs> just rolling with the punches here. Um, so yeah, what color do I want to do? I will do blue. Um... And I'll just put it at the bottom. Am I in frame? Yeah, okay, good. But yeah, since I might go back to work, we might do something fun. I'll tell my husband we need to do something. Just because he, with him starting his new job, he is, I think the official start date is supposed to be October 2nd. I don't know. Um, supposed to be, but you know how things go. And then Saturday would be another bath day, so I'm just going to put that down. I'll put down the, maybe the maroonish color. No, I'll put down the green. Let's bring in some green. But, um, so yeah, if I go back to work and then with his new work schedule, I mean, he's going to be in training. Then he has to go out of town for a whole week, actually. I think he has to go to Dallas for an entire week. I think it's the last week in October. So... We really, and if I go back to work, we really won't have, like, any time to have family time and do a bunch of stuff. So, I'm sure we'll probably do it up Tuesday, Wednesday. Try to do something family and fun. But, okay, I think I'm done. Let's zoom out. Okay, here's what we're looking like so far before anything is filled out. I do still have um, a deco, which I'm going to put in, like, these deco pieces here. And there's some over here, too. I am going to put these in, but later oh i need to mark i don't know if we're going but there is um like a family reunion because if i work then we're not going um but i don't know we might go there's supposed to be a family reunion this it's going to be like saturday sunday but where do i want to put that because if i work i put the thing up here i don't know if i'd want to put it mm, i'm gonna wait to mark it down actually so i do have some deco pieces and I have like YouTube stickers that I still need to add in. I have like a happy mail because I'm supposed to get an Erin Condren package. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, so like these like leftover, I'll actually probably move all these stickers 
like onto this sheet so it's just all on one page. I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. Um, but yeah, so I will fill in the blanks as it goes on. Obviously, if I do work, I will put in, you know, my work icons, things like that. But for now, this is what it looks like. Let me fill everything out with my Pilot Friction and then I will be right back to show you the completed spread then. Okay, so here is how it's looking with everything completely filled out. I used, of course, my Pilot Friction, which are erasable pens and this green color, which isn't actually as bright as like the pen looks when you actually write it. I actually really love the way this green color looks. Um, I don't think I've actually ever used a green pen to fill out a spread. Anyways, but this is what it looks like. I know it looks pretty bare, but like I said, as the days, the weeks goes on, here is pretty much this finished spread here. I need a half box right here because we actually went apple picking this day. But once I put that half box down, then the spread will be completed. But um, so yeah, as you can see, the days do get filled out for myself, but um, this is just basically how it starts out. But I hope you guys did enjoy this spread. I hope you guys are happy that I am starting to do the current weeks. I only have two more rewind spreads to film, but I think I'll have three rewinds to go up because one's already been filmed. So only two rewinds to film. I have my October monthly to film, which I already have that ready to go. Um, and then, yeah, so I think I just have three more rewinds and then there'll be no more rewind spreads unless I get behind again. And then my October monthly is ready to go and I already know what kit I'm going to use for the next week. So I think I'm on top of things finally now and we should be doing good. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And if you're interested in this kit or any of beautiful planning kits, use coupon code Brittany15 to save 15%. The link will be in the description. Well, that's all I have and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.